did what? Oh my god, I can't stand men. It's like every day they find a way to make me hate them. Like, why do they even exist? You know what? Girl, I'll talk to you later. All right, I love you. Bye. Uh, babe, why do they even exist? Do you want me to jump off a cliff, baby? No, not, babe, not you. You're one of the good ones. So I saw this video in the Wonderful World of TikTok and I thought it was very, very interesting because, you know, all, obviously this man is making like a parody and he said women in healthy and loving relationships be like. And, you know, the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I think that there is a very big misconception um, where women, you know, are concerned that being a good friend is supporting you and going down to where you are. So if you're groveling, if you on the ground, you know, you crying snot nose that I'm supposed to get down there with you, cry with you, snot nose with you and uh, just lie to you until you feel better. And I think that that is the biggest misconception. And that is one of the biggest reasons why women are in the state that they're in right now. Because nobody can tell you anything that is going to be contrary to your feelings, to your emotions. Nobody can tell you the truth. You know, if anybody comes at you with the truth, you come back with why that doesn't feel good to you or why that hurts your feelings. We have to be able to be realistic. You see, if I'm going through something... I do not want to be sitting there going with, going through something with somebody who is going to lie to me and tell me anything that I want to hear and is going to give me um, advice that is not necessarily going to help me um, in the long run, but it's going to help me feel better right now. I don't want that. I want somebody who's going to give me the truth, unfiltered. Because then and only then am I going to be able to grow. There's nothing wrong with supporting your friend. But you're over here, uh, you know, you're in a relationship with somebody. She's having trouble with her relationship. And because you want to be the friend, because this is what I see a lot of women do, because you want to be the friend that has the top tier relationship, the cookie cutter relationship. You know, you're the friend that, you know, you, you guys are the diagram. Everybody else's relationships are struggling, but y'all look like y'all the star couple. You know, uh, to your friends, y'all don't never argue. He don't never do nothing wrong. You know, he is perfect. He is one of the special ones. You know, he's different. And everybody else's man is going to be c compared to this man in the friend group. Y'all be having couple date night and, you know, your friends are all around. and Everybody's friends are around. And a lot of these men don't even realize that on a daily basis they're being compared to this person. And everything that this woman, you know, the same woman that is supposed to be the example in this video, everything that this woman does, she's coming back to the friend group, telling her friends what he does. And those same women are sometimes arguing with their man. You don't even do this for me. You don't even do that for me. And their men are innocent bystanders standing there like, what are you even talking about? What's the problem today? What do you mean I don't bring you flowers? What, since when? Like, since when do you even like flowers? What, what are you talking about? It's unhealthy. And it's unfair. Because a lot of people are giving advice uh, to you as as a home girl, they are telling you things while they laid up in this relationship with this with this man, and they are maybe even going through the same exact problems that you're going through or worse, and you just don't know, and you're taking this woman's word for it. And let me let me say this. Let me say this. Any time that you as a woman have an issue, the first person that you should be talking to about that issue with is your spouse. Nobody on the outside is going to make it better. I'm just being real with you. Let's start there. Nobody on the outside of your relationship is going to be able to fix the problems that you have on the inside. I'm not talking about a counselor. I'm not, I'm, I'm, but still, before you even get to a counselor, you got to be fixing an issue with the two of us. Two of you need to have a conversation. The two of you need to talk. The two of you need to be on one accord. That's first of all. But second of all, <laughs> As the two of you are on one accord, you are having issues. 
if you are going to have a conversation with somebody, it is best that you talk to somebody who has his best interests at heart, not yours. Because your homegirl, your mama, your sister, your cousin, your co-worker, your friend, your boss, whoever these women are that you are talking to, they know you. They love you. They support you. They're going to have your back. They're looking out for your best interests. They want to make sure that they are being supportive to you. And that does not always mean that they are going to tell you the truth, especially if you have a track record of somebody telling you the truth and you get all snippy or you cut them off. Especially if you know you have the mentality that can't nobody tell you nothing. They may, it's, it's very possible that they are not going to be giving you the advice that you need to conquer said situation. They are going to give you the advice to just make you feel better in the moment. Sometimes, as I said, it is best for you to go over there and seek advice from somebody who has his best interest at heart. Which most of the time, to be honest, is extremely hard because sometimes men have a, you know, they're in a relationship and even their sister is against men. So their sister will be over there telling this woman all these negative things about men. Oh, yeah, you know, if it was me, I would do this. And if it was me, I would do that. And they're not even going to have their own brother's best interest at heart. Because, you know, society caters to the woman and her feelings and her emotions. So if the woman is upset and crying, you know, he had to have done something wrong. And if, and if uh, the woman has done something wrong in the relationship, it's because he also has done something wrong. So everything falls back. All the responsibility falls back on the man. Knowing that. You sitting down and discussing any problem that you have with your man, with anybody else, don't make no sense. You want somebody to talk to? Go get a pen and a notepad and write it down. And if need be, you need somebody that's going to tell you the truth. Somebody who is unbiased. Somebody who is not going to stand there and just because they love you, they're going to 100% support what you're saying. No, you need somebody that's going to tell you when you're being a fool. I'm not going to listen to my friend and, and my friends can vouch for this. The very few that I have, <laughs> they can vouch. If you call me and you tell me something that he did, I'm going to say, hold up, hold up, wait. So he just woke up out of nowhere and he just did that? Why? What happened? So you didn't do nothing. Because I know you. You didn't say nothing. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. And sometimes as women, women get offended and they feel like, oh, you know, you're always more supporting to men or, you know, you're always trying to have the other person's side. I need you to have my back. I am. Because I need to know the whole context to this story before I can offer any advice because that's logical. That's what makes sense. I'm not going to take your word because your feelings are hurt. Your opinion might be a little altered. You might be telling me some details and skipping stuff just because you want me to be on your side. No. What happened? For real. So what did he say? So what did you say? Did you talk to him about it? What did you say? What did he say? Why did he say that? When did you say that? Were you yelling at him when you said that? Like, we need to know. The whole rundown needs to be, you know, I need to know it before I can give you anything. Again, because a lot of women with their feelings, well, I felt like he was saying this. Did he really say that or did your feelings tell you that he said that? Or did you interpret it that way because of your feelings? To me, you know, like, like this woman in the diagram that he is, you know, supposed to be, this is like the, the worst type of friend. This is the friend that, you know, they riding and, and, you know, they riding with you and they supporting you, but they also have a line that they cross every time because they going to, whenever you and him rekindle, they're going to start butting into the relationship and telling you things about your own relationship or telling you things that you need to hear of what he should have done and what he should have said, even when you don't ask. And you know whose fault that is? Yours, because you're the one who opened the door. You gave them the, the air and the space to say whatever it is that they need to say, want to say, feel like saying about you and your relationship because now they're not going to know when to dial back because you always calling. 
So every time they link up with you, it's going to be like, yeah, girl, so what happened? What he say now? What you do? Well, I think what you should do is, even when you're not asking for advice. Talk to your man. A lot of you are going to uh, your homegirls and your friends who are in these perfect, you know, couple goals, relationships that you want to be in. And you are expressing problems that you didn't even express to your own man. He don't even know there's a problem. Talk to your man. <laughs> I'd like to know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.